Hey everybody, David Burns, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper. Got a cool video for you today. I want to show you a few things before I get into today's video. I want you to be sure and uh, subscribe. We're looking to get 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also, please click on the bell. That will help you to be notified every time I make a new video such as this one. So you can see what I have here. I've I've kind of squeezed this split where I'm going to put the split in here in this box and I've to help them have a good time I've given them a frame of honey and all this is drawn comb and I've faced it the other way because the mother hive isn't too far away and then they all go back I'm hoping that by making it face the wall they will all stay put and I will slowly move it after they get settled down, I'll start rotating it two, three, four inches a day until it looks, uh, until I can get it all the way spun back around just for my convenience. I can leave it that way, and I might. We'll see. But anyway, I've got my hive ready to put the swarm in. I'm going to go into the big hive, take four frames out with the queen on it and brood, put it right in the middle. Let's get to work. A lot of drones on top because they can't go through the queen excluder and they were up in the super when I put that queen excluder on. So they'll be glad to get uh, back to work. <laughs> Alright drones, go find a virgin queen. It is time to get to work. I'm just going to flick them into the air. It's mating time. I'm betting the queen is going to be up in this top deep right here. I want to move the queen with my split because that way they will feel like they have swarmed. Great brood pattern. I'd love for the queen to be up here and speed up my making a split a lot. Down below, it just means I have to look through more frames. I'll have to look through <coughs> 20 frames instead of 10. Not that warm out here. Looking for the queen. I see eggs on this frame, and there she is. So I got the queen. We're going to move her over to the other split now. So I've got the queen on this frame, and I'm going to put them in, I'm going to, now that I have the queen where I can see her, I'm going to put her against the next comb, let me get position right, she's right there in the corner, and so I'm going to put her, I'm going to watch her all the way in, and now I don't have to risk pushing the frame next to her, because she's on that side of the frame. Let me go grab a, three more frames of brood. Partially sealed brood, open brood, putting it in next to that frame there. You see the pollen there on this frame? So I'm able to put some frames of pollen in there. That'd be good for them. Yep, one more frame of brood going in. All right, so we've made our split here. To put a top on it and call it good. Now back here we have to make sure that we have eggs. That is important. So they can raise their own queen. So you can see, I can see eggs in the top of this frame as well as young larvae. So I'm going to put it in the middle. So they can raise a queen there. And now I gotta add, I got one, two, three, four, five, I need five frames. I dump my smoker fuel out on the uh, gravel and then just make sure it's stomping out good. We may have uh, prevented a swarm, hopefully, by taking four frames out of this big hive here. We took four frames with brood on it, capped, honey, pollen 
the queen. We moved. It's important to get the queen out of there. Let them raise their own queen. That gives them the feeling that they did swarm by making a new queen. And then back over here, we put the four frames here, and we're trying to get them to uh, reorientate the foragers that are there by the wall facing a different way out. And I'll keep you apprised of how it goes. Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me. I hope this has been helpful for you today. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I make a new video. Please take one of my online courses so you'll know how to keep bees. All right, so thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.